Sagittarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for the month of April 2024. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Saggy. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay, the overall energy for the reading, the moon. Ah. There's a lot of stuff happening underneath the surface here. And I can see a lot of great energy going on. Um for the most part in this reading in terms of if things were to play out like this in the physical my job here would be done so starting off the reading you get the star crossed by the four of wands that's a commitment and it does look like you're in um well, there's an energy of desire towards this commitment to come into play um potentially in this beautiful way that i'm seeing here um in your focus the wheel of fortune there are some changes at play which i don't know what that is but that's what you're focusing on the changes that are currently at play or that are going to be implemented on the situation um in the recent past the ace of cups that's an energy of love that's shown up there in your strength the sun that's happiness a lot of happiness is at play in the immediate future the queen of pentacles that's a lot of nurturing and just the energy of self-love and putting yourself first there. Uh, supporting this reading, the Page of Wands, I kind of see this as your energy in terms of you're just taking things as they are for what they are. And you're starting to feel the magic of that pretty much, you know, the minute you start doing that. Uh, the energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, the King of Cups. That's someone that has a lot of love for you. In your hopes and fears, the Five of Pentacles, that's the fear of losing all of this, you know, um, in terms of losing the, the touch with this feeling, the, the connection you have to what you feel, basically, towards the situation. Uh, not even the situation necessarily, but more of how you truly feel about it. In the potential outcome, the Knight of Cups, that's love again. These are great energies. I feel like that's the... Um... <clears throat> Let's clarify. Let's see. I feel like all of this is the underneath, like the deep, deep aspect of what's going on here. But I don't know. Let's play around these energies. Let's see what's going on. Let me do the moon. The king of swords, the ten of pentacles, the nine of cups. Okay, that's the surface. For now, it's looking like it's matching what's going on here. You're very determined to, to create some sort of stability around this and to keep it going. To, to like, you, you find yourself in this place of, this feels good, this feels right. You know, I want to take this with me, kind of a deal. Um, I like this. Let me see the star. The Seven of Wands, the Strength card, the Temperance card. There's a little bit of rejection here that you have. Is it you or is it someone you're dealing with here? Because I see your energy coming in a little more straight shot and clear. And then whatever it is that you're dealing with is coming through as kind of the same. But there's a little something to one of these two energies and i feel like it's on their side whoever this is like for the longest time there was a little bit of a blockage here between you achieving this sense of okay it's going all right it's going fine but i'm not sure if that sense of blockage came from you that's my thing here um let me do the Four of Wands. The Devil, the Hierophant, the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. 
There's a little bit of uh, something dysfunctional here tied up to this commitment, but it has gone through a form of healing, a form of, okay, I know there's something up here. I know there's an issue here. Issue identified. We're working through it, you know? That's kind of what I'm getting with this one. Okay. Let me do the Wheel of Fortune in your focus. The Two of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles. There are some changes at play for something that has to do with you personally. I don't even know if it's connected to this commitment that I'm seeing here. I don't know. It, it feels more almost like it's just you. It's affecting you or something. Maybe in your workplace or home environment, something is shifting. Something is that you're not necessarily connected to in the sense of you don't seem to to be involved too much in whatever's changing here. But at the same time, it's affecting you even because it leaves you a little bit like, what now? You know, um, <clears throat> I feel like that's where your focus is for the most part. Uh, okay. Let me do the Ace of Cups in the recent past. The Six of Swords, the Empress, the King of Pentacles. You could have given the situation quite the distance. You know, this connection. You could have you could have been at a distance. You could have And it's not necessarily a conscious decision to, hey, you stay right here, I'll go do my thing, I'll be back when I'm good. It doesn't show up like that. It shows up more like maybe because you shifted your focus towards your own sense of stability where you didn't put all of your focus into this commitment here. That could have been the distance that this situation may have needed actually to, to get back on track here or to, to kind of settle in quite the beautiful energies from what I'm seeing. Let me do the sun. In your strength, you get the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. You're very determined to achieve happiness here. It's almost like you made it a mission. Okay, I'm going to be happy. I have no idea what that means to you. I have no idea how that comes through for you. I just know that I see you on a mission here. Very determined, very stubborn about it too. Like, I don't care what happens. This is what I'm going to do in order to get happy. Okay. It could have to do with this situation where things are shifting a little bit. Because I feel like your happiness is kind of somewhat tied up to whatever this is. That could be going through some changes at this point. For the Queen of Pentacles in the immediate future, you get the Ten of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Eight of Swords. So this commitment that shows up quite steady here and potentially working through all sorts of not great energy sometimes. Um, it's looking like something about this commitment is getting very, very complicated for you. Where you look in its direction and you're like, okay, shit got complicated. Very fast. Here. Uh, it's, it's almost encountering your energy of self-love and that's why it's becoming complicated. So it could be that something is going on within this commitment that's challenging this energy of putting yourself first, of self-love, you know? So I don't know what it is. But you're looking at it and you're like, it's a little complicated. Where it's not an easy choice, whatever choice I make here, you know? Let me do the Page of Wands and the supportive energies. The Five of Swords, the Seven of Cups, the Six of Cups. Also giving me a sense of... Um, easy way out. Um, remember what I just told you here that it got complicated quite fast. Uh, you may have the tendency to be like, well, it's too complicated. I'm not going to deal with it. Goodbye. Which is quite the deceptive energy from what I can see here. Because it goes back to, are you just going to bail when the shit hits the fan instead of kind of checking things out to see if there's any kind of method of Leaning that mess up or something. I don't know. You know? Um, it is coming through as an impulsive kind of a decision. To, to just... I'm out. You know? 
and it it is looking like it's coming off of the situation where if it gets too hard i'm not dealing with it i don't give a shit you know uh for the king of cups in the hidden energies you get the magician the ace of pentacles the high priestess <clears throat> I don't know. There's something here that looks and feels really, really good for you. Uh, it does feel like sometimes it's going through rough times, whatever this is. Um, you forget sometimes how important this is to you and why you're here in the first place, you know? You could be, because I kind of see a lot of emphasis and a lot of pushing in that direction of it got very hard to deal with whatever within this commitment. And because of that, you may have the tendency to just bail, to just leave. Um, forgetting what's more important, you know? Which we all have a tendency to do that. Don't get me wrong. When, when shit gets hard, nobody wants to deal with that. <sighs> but at the same time, Sometimes when we look back in all sorts of experience we're having, we kind of realize, you know, just because it got hard a little bit, what the hell did I do, you know? So I don't want you to get in that place, because that's where it's pushing. This energy is pushing right there in that direction, because you're missing, you're missing the love aspect. You're missing the fact that you manifested all of this, you know, whatever it is that's happening here, you manifested it. And when it's good, you're going with it. It's great. When it starts to get a little, eh, you're like, eh, well, I don't want it anymore, you know. Of course, it depends on the circumstances, but when you look at it from the outside, it's like, okay, no, no, it was good. Then you went with it. It's not so good. And then you're, you leave it behind. For the five of pentacles in your hopes and fears, you get the nine of wands, the queen of wands, the star. I heard your train. That's a very angry train. Uh, there's also a lot of fear that's building up here. The minute that things get started getting complicated, there's a lot of fear of pushing the other energy away. Uh, it's not even about, oh, it's not going to work out. Oh, they're going to leave me. Oh, it's, a, it's actually a fear of rejecting someone of pushing someone away. It's almost like, you know, you have this fear attached to you. Interesting. No matter how much you desire for this person to be in your life, you may have the tendency to push someone away. That's what this fear is showing me. And you're showing to me that you're very much aware of this fear. So it could be that this fear is getting activated through whatever's going on here. Um, for the Knight of Cups in the potential outcome, you get the Page of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the Three of Wands. You're creating distance here. You're almost following a pattern and partly you recognize it, partly not. I do from where I'm sitting, but given that you're in the middle of it, it's going to be hard to catch it. But you're almost following a pattern. And if this fear of rejecting something is in play, then of course these behaviors are going to seem quite normal based on this fear. Where you're creating some distance. You're starting to create some distance from something that you really care about. And I feel like it's starting here in the immediate future where I don't know what's happening here. I feel like, again, you're being challenged a little bit in that energy of self-love through this connection so something is happening in this connection that's challenging you in that direction a lot of the times we think we're putting ourselves first and we're not doing that you know so i'm not sure exactly what could be happening here but i see it stirring something up it's bringing something up and then i see all sorts of energies that are being born off of whatever's going on here a little bit of deception here a little bit of not seeing what's truly important, a little bit of fear here, which has all been building up to you creating some sort of distance from something that you really care about, which ultimately 
doesn't really make sense, does it? If you care about something, you wouldn't create distance between you. But there's also a fear of self-sabotage there, you know, that I can see in there. So just be aware of these energies that are popping in and try to catch them. Because once you catch them, you can change them. Once you kind of figure out, oh, okay, I'm in this energy. Okay, why am I here? What's this energy doing here? Why is it, you know, and try to work around these energies rather than, oh, yeah, I always do that. Yeah, I always fuck things up when, you know, something isn't working out so that I have a way out or something. I don't know. Who knows? There's all sorts of ways in which we do things and in which we sabotage ourselves sometimes. From the universe, you get the Three of Wands, the Magician, the Justice card. The universe keeps on pushing this kind of uh, energy of, remember, you asked for it, you know. Uh, in terms of, you've manifested this experience. I don't know what this experience is to you. I see it going sometimes great, freaking amazing, with the energies that are at play around this connection. It's, you know, it's like, oh my god. And then other times, it gets very, very complicated very nasty potentially so the universe keeps on pointing towards the fact that you as a soul manifested this experience for for yourself to learn something out of it and there's a lot to learn from it you know especially from your reaction to whatever's going on so yeah interesting reading i'm not uh seeing you you know clear and cut with this kind of a can I, I don't know what's where you're heading with it i just see you that if if you let that fear run the show then you might end up creating a little bit of a distance here which might complicate things even more for the situation so as these energies show up and whatever is happening here try to address it right away um Try to work around this instead of just kind of letting things happen this way because you always do this you know that's not an answer because if you always do this then you know that the result of it is not the greatest so there's uh there's some things to be learned from this situation so try to focus on that let's do the spirit of the animals oracle You get the peacock vibrancy you were born to shine and inspire practice humility to avoid jealousy be grateful for life and more good things will come be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance yeah all right the peacock is the most iridescent of all birds their feathered cloak of blue aqua and gold is worthy of royalty their boisterous cries hold both mockery and laughter, which comes from their regal self-confidence. Peacocks are blessed with clear vision that notices the smallest detail. Because of their ability to eat poisonous snakes... Really? Peacocks were used as protectors in ancient temples. If peacock appears, good luck will follow. The feathers of peacock are symbols for protection, prosperity, and sensuality. They can be used in smoke rituals to cleanse and renew the aura. Um, the peacock is a symbol for rebirth and new beginnings like its cousin, the elusive phoenix. If um, peacock is your totem, you have a colorful and vibrant personality that is sure to win admirers. You can raise yourself to great heights of brilliance in your field. Peacock people have the gift of observation and keen perception. Your inner vision brings you wisdom and foresight. You must guard against letting your vanity or pride get the best, get the better of you. The best peacocks are just their authentic selves. Your positivity and radiance helps lift others up to realize their own worth. You are crowned with beauty and grace. Ooh, talk about feathering you up anyways that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time bye